it's also worth thinking about the kinds of awards that are recognized. Now, this was a small sampling I did of all the uh, roles that people have performed that are commonly given nominations and commonly given awards. They broke it down to about 11 categories, and these are the most common. Uh, the word cloud notes that family member, someone who's just an average husband, father, mother, wife, son, daughter, those elements being most important within their identity, uh, those are the most commonly awarded ones, followed shortly thereafter by people who are playing either criminals or prisoners, athletes and artists, average Joes, just regular people on the street, uh, people who are impaired, suffer some sort of disability or addiction, officers in either the army or the police force, socialites, uh, the wealthy, the well-to-do, the nobles, kings and queens. Uh, you have activists, people who are agitating for cause, teachers who are giving more information, traditionalists who believe in history, vixens who are sexually desirable women mostly, there's no really no male counterpart for that, and uh, finally servants. These are the most commonly uh, nominated, commonly awarded roles in American history, in, in the history of the Oscars. And if we take a look at how these roles appear among minority winners or among winners of color, we start to see some things pop up. Here are the ones that received one award. So far, no African American who's no African American, Hispanic, uh, Latino, or Asian American, Native American who's played a vixen, a socialite, or a teacher has won an award. But these other categories have had success. But now, one and over is one thing. I mean, out of twenty-one possible victories total for people of color, we have to see whether or not we see anything repeated. These receive two wins and three wins, and you start to notice that some things are standing out a little bit more than others, especially when we hit four wins. It's nice to see that family member, the most dominant factor or the most dominant uh, area or arena for performers, is the one that's most commonly associated with minorities as well. It is interesting to note that of about the equal distribution between criminals, prisoners, athletes, artists, and average Joes, the number one thing that we see award-winning people of color in is the role of a criminal or a prisoner, followed shortly thereafter by the entertainers, the athletes, and the artists, with average Joes far down on the list, and activists even farther down on the list. It's not just in terms of acting either. If we look broaden our look to the other main creative forces behind making a film, those who write it and those who direct it, we see similar things as well. Uh, in the screenplay, we see 790 nominees in the history of all the screenplay uh, awards. 17 of those were films that were written by people of color. So in the history of film, only 17 films written by people of color have been judged as worthy of uh, being nominated for the Academy Award. That is, in case you're wondering, 2% of all screenplay writing nominees have been people of color or have been for films written by people of color. Then you have the director's position. The director's position is normally the most powerful position. It's seen as something that's very important. It's considered one of the most prestigious positions that you can have. There have been 425 nominees uh, through the first 85 years of the Oscars. Six of those nominees were for films directed by Asian men, including three by the director Ang Lee and two were by African-American men, including Lee Daniels for Precious and John Singleton for Boys in the Hood. That's eight total nominees for people of color out of 425 overall nominees. Again, 1.8% of all nominees have been people of color. So what does this tell us? Ultimately, not a whole heck of a lot. It tells us that perhaps the Oscars give primacy to white people and to white stories and to white films. I'm not trying to say that Academy Awards are racist. That's really not the point of this. It doesn't matter if they are or not. I'm not even trying to say that the Academy Awards matter. But what I am trying to say is that if we take a look at what critics believe is really important in film, we see a certain set of standards or a certain set of guidelines that function to tell us what we should expect to see from minorities in film. We don't necessarily expect to see them taking recognition for direction or for screenplay writing. 
we expect them to take credit as actors and performers only in recent history, only for certain kinds of roles. And those roles and those expectations are going to play out in sort of how we as a populace understand things. And that leads us to think about something else beyond awards. And this is a quote from Kenneth Turan of the LA Times, who believes that, you know, the feel-good inclusion of the awards ceremonies doesn't change the fact that opportunities remain scarce. And this is the key part of the quote. Hollywood would judge African-American value using the only yardstick it believes matters, box office performance. In other words, how popular the films that are being made, starring, written, and directed by African-Americans really are. That's what's going to be most important. So, I want to take a look at that too. Let's take a look at some of the top grossing films from about a 25 year span, from 1988 to 2013. Now in 2013, you'd be a little surprised to see that not a lot of awards were given to, not a lot of attention and press was given to films with people of color. In fact, on the list of the top 50, only four had people of color either in leading, had people of color in leading roles. And only one or two of these actually had uh, African American directors, including Lee Daniels, The Butler, starring Forrest Whitaker, 42, about Jackie Robinson, Two Guns, starring Denzel Washington in an action movie, and Best Man Holiday, uh, a romantic comedy. Those four films are the only films that really show African American culture and minority culture in uh, full bloom. None of the other shows that we're really seeing have a major influence on other races. Uh, we don't see a really popular Latino film, Hispanic film, Native American film, or Asian American film here. But what's interesting to note is that this is a big difference between 2013 and 1988. In 1988, when we look at the top 50 of blockbuster movies, we see very few things. In fact, we see only two. Take another look at that again. Oops, you'll have to see this in one more time. When the 1988 scrolls by here, you'll have to take a close look quickly to see what's at number three. It's the film Coming to America, starring Eddie Murphy. That comedy rated number three in 1988, far higher and with much more box office revenue at $172 million than any of the films on the 2013 list. But it is one of only two films from 1988 starring an African-American. None of the films from 1988 have an African-American director or an African-American screenwriter leading the way. The only two are, as I mentioned before, Coming to America with Eddie Murphy and at number 49, a film called Action Jackson. And if you know what Action Jackson is, you're a better man than I am because I had to look it up in depth. It stars Carl Weathers as a renegade cop. So there you have it. It's not surprising that it's that far down on the list and that very few people have ever heard of it. So you have these two gaps between the fact that in more recent history we're seeing more, more African-American films are breaking into the top levels of the box office, but they aren't reaching maybe the same heights that a truly extremely popular at film starring an African-American reached back in 1988. Now these are utterly random samplings that I just wanted to pull out for the sake of comparison. Whether or not this is fair, accurate, just, I'm not sure, we can think about that and we'd have to think about that in more depth uh, to really understand. But it seems to me that African American film is profitable. There is money to be made there and Hollywood studios know this. So we're seeing some more effort being put into it and we can see that too in the roles that are given. 